In today's passage, we are looking at Zechariah chapter 7. Zechariah's prophetic ministry took place in the post-exilic period, the time for the Jewish restoration from Babylonian captivity. Like Jeremiah and Ezekiel, Zechariah was not only a prophet, but he was also a member of a priestly family. He was born in Babylonia in captivity and was among those who returned to Judah in 538-537 BC under the leadership of Zerubbabel and Joshua. The chief purpose of the book of Zechariah was to rebuke the people of Judah and encourage and motivate them to complete the rebuilding of the temple. Through the eight night visions that are laid out in Zechariah, the Lord said that if the people of Judah would return to him, he would return to them, and his word would be fulfilled. After the visions are revealed and unpacked in previous chapters, we see here in chapter 7, Zechariah answering questions of a religious practice and tradition. Zechariah was approached by men who were sent to him to clarify, as a prophet, whether or not they should continue to fast according to the religious traditions and calendars that they had been keeping for generations. Then the word of the Lord Almighty came to me. Ask all the people of the land and the priests, when you fasted and mourned in the fifth and the seven months for the past 70 years, was it really for me that you fasted? And when you were eating and you were drinking, were you not just feasting for yourselves? There's a modern day application for God's response through his prophet Zechariah here. Religious practices, traditions, and rituals without a genuine heart to honor God are not only misguided, but they're also counter to what God desires. See, God's covenant with the people of Judah laid out all of his commands so that they could have a life that was free from being derailed by sin. God's intention for us is not religious observances and rituals. God desires obedience and faith instead. I recently read a quote that said, religious people will destroy a person to save a tradition, but Jesus destroyed religion in order to save people. In verse 13, we see Zechariah continuing with God's words of warning. When I called, they did not listen. So when they called, I would not listen, says the Lord Almighty. This is a chilling rebuke from a father who desires a relationship with his people. See, God is not passively passing judgment. He's actively pursuing us. So what should they have done instead? What does God call for us to do instead? Well, he lays it out clearly in a similar message that's been repeated multiple times in different aspects throughout the Gospels in the New Testament. In verse 9, we see, This is what the Lord Almighty said. Administer true justice. Show mercy and compassion to one another. Do not oppress the widow or the fatherless, the foreigner or the poor. Do not plot evil against each other. See, this is the calling of God on our lives.